Bel Air is known for being one of the most private and exclusive neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Popular with many high profile celebrities and entertainment industry elite, Bel Air is appealing to many for not only the privacy, but for the breathtaking views, enormous lots, and spectacular mansions, all while being just a few minutes away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Today, we take you through the majestic Bel Air gates and down the canyon to tour 1580 Stone Canyon Road, a traditional architecturally designed home featuring six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, 9,391 square feet of living space, and is currently on the market for $15.7 million. First, I want to thank the listing agent of this property, Ernie Carswell, for letting us tour his amazing listing here in Bel Air. So it's a new construction home, just finished being built here in 2020 on just about a 0.9 acre lot. So starting in front of the house, there are two motor gates leading to your long driveway and right up to your three car garage. Walking up the pathway to the house, we notice that each step is a full concrete slab that is actually lit up underneath it. So at night, the outside of this place looks amazing. Looking at the exterior of the house, we see the Italian stone that was imported by ship from Italy, giving it a contemporary and modern look at the same time. Also looking at the exterior of the windows, you see the black accents they have around the borders, giving it a mid-century look as well, blending all different type of home styles together as one. All right, that's it for the exterior. Let's go inside. And we're inside. As soon as we enter, we are greeted by this grand entrance with double high ceilings and two story windows. So first to my right is a living area and reading space over there. And to my left is the kitchen and another living area. But first we're gonna show you what's right behind you, the formal dining room. In the formal dining space, there are two French doors on either end of the table leading you out to the backyard. And then I love this brass tree branch like chandelier going with the theme of the forest like vibe and privacy we have in the backyard with the surrounding trees. Okay, now leading out of the grand entrance and dining area, follow me in here. This is a formal living room with also a reading space to my left. Also two French doors leading out to the backyard. Has that mid-century style that you'll see all throughout the house. Also here you can look out into your backyard and see the guest house that we'll show you at the very end. But as you keep following me this way, tucked away in the corner is a temperature controlled wine room with a special code that you can input so that when you have guests over, you can lock it and nobody can get inside except you. Aside from the wine cell in here, you also have a large gas fireplace. I definitely love how expansive this living space is because there are two sides to it. Over there you have your living area right next to the fireplace. And the other side is a little reading space where you can sit down with a book and be a little bit out of the way. Walking this way through the hall, leading into the office. First is a wet bar to my left with natural stone countertops matching with the backsplash. Also have open shelves above I think that's a perfect area for your bar. Get a quick drink right before you go inside your office. In the study room, we are front facing of the house, looking onto the driveway, with the windows bringing in tons of natural light to your office space and large wood table, so you can see all the work you're doing. Also, the bookshelf in the corner, and I especially like the dark blue theme throughout this room. Gives it a different vibe than the other rooms right next to it. Getting out of the study room, back through the bar, around the living room, we are going to show you the first guest bathroom of the house. 
First we stop by a visitor. I call him Bull the Dog. Look at that guy, minding his own business. All right, let's keep going. Into the first guest bathroom. One thing that you'll notice throughout the house in each bathroom is that the cabinetry are all different colors, giving each bathroom its own unique style. Okay, that is it for the downstairs portion of this wing of the house. Now let's walk past the entryway again. But before we go in there, let me just show you this unique feature. There's a little button with a latch. Press that, slides closed, and completely separates the kitchen and living room on that side of the house from this wing. There's another door exactly like this one on the other side of the entryway too. Now let's keep going. So this is the open living room and kitchen area with a little dining table between as well. I think this is where I would spend most of my time. You also have the French doors open right now, looking out to your beautiful backyard, the flat screen TV on the wall. Making our way into the kitchen, I absolutely love the expansive natural stone countertops with the brass bar stools and pendant hanging light fixtures. We have three of them over the center island. Then the unique windowed cabinetry in the kitchen with the cladded exhaust hood. They actually made this to match the rest of the cabinetry in this kitchen. Definitely brings a unique touch to it. Then the six burner gas stove with the brass pot filler. This kitchen is huge. There's just so much cabinetry on the walls and there are two sinks, a large one on the center island, another one over here on the countertop. There are two dishwashers as well, one on either end of the sink, and then two ovens. Right behind me is the enormous Sub-Zero fridge and freezer, stocked perfectly with your champagne bottle. You buy the house, that's all yours. I'm sure if you buy this house, you can afford more than one bottle of champagne, but if you do, you already have one waiting for you, don't have to go shopping for it. All right, let's move on to the next room. Through the walkway before we head into the movie room is a little bit of a bar area with a detailed green cabinetry and jars of candy. All your favorite types of candy, Starburst, M&Ms, and Raul's favorite right here. Gummy worms. Let's go. This is the movie room slash lounge room. Now I like that they didn't turn this into one of those classic projector style with the movie theater chairs. It's more of a lounge room, but the acoustics in here are still perfect for watching movies. And then the light fixtures in here act as if you are in a movie theater as well. That's it for the theater room. Now there are a couple more spaces to check out downstairs, so why don't you follow me? And while we're at it, if you like this house, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button. It helps support our channel and we really appreciate that. Now let's see what's through this door. Welcome to your spacious three car garage with high ceilings, perfect for storing any of your larger luxury vehicles. You can fit any Escalade Rolls Royce in here if you need to. There's plenty of room. Now off the garage is a hallway, first door, just for some extra storage space. And then this would be your laundry room. Two washers and dryers, same countertops and cabinetry we've seen throughout the house. Right next door is a guest room with a full bathroom. 
Beautiful vanity with the natural stone countertops, chrome fixtures, and in the shower, the marble tiled walls with the rain shower head. Beautiful for a guest bathroom. Into the guest bedroom. This can be used as a beautiful maid's quarter with access out to the backyard. This is the only bedroom downstairs and it's right off the kitchen. Whoever has this bedroom will have an extreme amount of privacy. You just saw the entire downstairs of the house. Now let's go upstairs. Before we head upstairs, just wanna show you guys this door next to the staircase. It's a little Harry Potter room. You can put your least favorite sibling down there. <laughs> Only a joke, but that's that. All right, now let's go upstairs. This home has beautiful light grain wood stairs and the railing. Also the stunning chandelier. This landing is a perfect common area for the second floor. We have the master bedroom on this side and then three other bedrooms on the other side for where their kids would be. Also like how there's an overlook right here. You can look down to the dining room area. I wanted to point out these custom hand carved cabinets with the large handle. Take a look at that. And then also this overlook is perfect for having it act as an art gallery, storing artwork on either side of the wall. Now let's go take a look at the three bedrooms on this side. Starting with the one to my right. This bedroom is front facing has two windows overlooking your large driveway and the two black trimmed mid-century styled windows. All the bedrooms up here are en suite, walk-in closet in front of me, and this is the full bath. Absolutely beautiful vanity with the dark blue colored cabinetry, probably my favorite colored cabinetry throughout the house, with the natural stone countertops, and the double light fixtures mirroring image of each other on top and on bottom. And take a look at this unique handle on the glass door to go into the shower. Just an oval style cutout. Open it open. Let's walk into the shower. You have this tile pattern that we've seen in a couple other bathrooms. Chrome rain shower head. Heading out of this room and on to the next, we first run into this door. Perfect for some storage, but also can act as an elevator. If you want to put that into the contract, an elevator can easily be put into here. It can take you from downstairs to up here. All right, on to the next room. Before we go into the room, let's take a look in the bathroom. Now, as I said earlier, every vanity's cabinetry color are all different, making each bathroom unique in its own way. But we see the beautiful marble countertops as we've seen in the other bathrooms. And they all have different light fixtures also. These look like a torch to me. All right, let's look in the shower. Chrome rain shower head. And then the tile in here, bit larger tile but the same linear shape that we saw in the previous bathroom. Into the bedroom. Standard bedroom, similar to the one right next door, but it does not have a walk-in closet. It does have two double doors leading to plenty of closet space and a large balcony connecting to the room right next door that we're gonna show you now. Out on the balcony, 
Now these are veranda ironwood deck terraces that expand, extending these two rooms, connecting them together. Perfect for having them both act as children's rooms. Also staged with some comfortable seating areas on the side, overlooking the pool and beautiful backyard and guest house. This is staged as the twin room with two twin beds with a bunch of toys around the room. Perfect for smaller kids. Very similar to the room right next door that connects with the balcony as it has the same styled closets. But the bathroom is different in this one. Another unique elegant vanity with the darker gray marble countertops and the gray colored cabinetry. The shower has diamond pattern tiles on the wall, staying with that gray color scheme throughout this bathroom. With the cladded marble bordering the bathtub, matching the countertops in here. Now let's look inside the master suite, the crown jewel of this house. to the front entrance of your master suite is a cone-shaped ceiling that hangs down this brass chandelier above. When you have an entryway into your master, you know you are ballin'. All right, let's check it out. Now this is one of the nicest master bedrooms I've ever seen, and it has its own living room. So first over here, with a double-sided gas fireplace and the single stone slab, This seating area can be used to relax while your partner is on the other side changing. I love the French doors in here also, as we saw downstairs. Walking along to the other side of the double-sided fireplace, there's another seating area in front of your king-sized bed. And then also behind me is a balcony that extends the entire length of the master bedroom. with just stunning views of your pool and grassy backyard. I love the staging all throughout this house by Vesta. One specifically is this table stand. Two hands, one on the bottom and then one holding the table up. And then wait till you see this. As you walk towards your closets and the luxurious bathroom, you run into this cutout of the wall where you could put any of your most valuable artwork. Right now it's staged with this sculpture and a reflective pattern mirror. There's a skylight above. The sunlight comes down on it, lighting it up for perfect display. And then this is a makeup table with a small mirror and a large circular mirror, both with those brass accents. And then look at this. No, this is not another guest bedroom with a lot of shelves. This is actually a walk-in closet. The closet features this large island in the center with the unique gray beams above on the high ceilings. Hanging the chandelier in the center. But this is not it in the closet. Let's keep going. This is the entire closet. This has to be one of the biggest closets I've ever seen with the his and hers side, absolutely massive, bigger than most rooms, I would say. There's just an unlimited amount of shelf space in here. I also particularly love the brass handles on some of the cabinets. Out of the closet, there are two more doors through this hall with pull-out wood hampers. No 
Okay, then right next to the incredible closet rooms, this is something special. There is a lot to this bathroom, as I'm sure you can tell already. But first, the inlay marble tiled floors. And on this side are two separate rooms with two toilets, both motion censored as you walk in. And now follow me into the shower. First of all, the light in here is insane, as there are two skylights right above in this shower. So then, so many brass fixtures. You have one large rain head, and I mean large. Look how big that is. Two smaller sized rain shower heads. Also, two handheld, and then body shower heads also. This is one of the coolest showers I've ever seen in my life. I love the book matched green pattern looking as if it is an open book on the floor and the walls. And at the end of the bathroom in the corner is your deep soaking tub with the brass fixtures. Also a door leading out to the balcony that connects to the bedroom. This bathroom just speaks luxury to me, as over on this side is the dual vanity with the natural stone countertop and the cabinet color matching with the shower. This light fixture above me in this bathroom almost looks like a wrecking ball. What do you guys think it looks like? If this was my shower, I don't think I'd ever leave. But unfortunately, for this video, we're gonna have to show you the rest. So let's get out of this closet in the master bedroom and show you the backyard. Now let's head out to the outdoor deck. I love the wood paneling on the bottom here of your patio. Makes it a great space. Now just walk with me to this gas fire pit right in the center of your backyard. Look at all the grass you have and how open your backyard is. Now let's keep going. We've arrived inside the guest house. So there are two floors to this guest house and two doors, one leading right out to the fireplace that you saw the other one overlooking the pool. There's a pool table in here, perfect for entertaining. Lots of open space. On this side, there's a sink with blue cabinets underneath. Also with those brass handles and fixtures that we've seen throughout the house. Open shelves above, and then this backsplash texture puts a nice touch to it as well. Into the bathroom on the bottom level of the guest house. The vanity has a black marble countertop, different from the white ones we saw throughout the main house, and the blue cabinets. Lots of brass finishes in here also, with the light fixtures and the accents around the mirror, as well as the shower head. Now just follow me out this door of the bathroom and let's go to the second floor. leads us down this concrete path. You can see into the side yard there. Two ways to access this guest house, through your side gate down that path or through the bathroom in your backyard. Let's go up the stairs. This might be my second favorite room in the entire property. 
because it's kind of like your own hideaway up in this guest house. Looking over your backyard and at the main house, you can basically spy on everyone from up here in your own little space. This bedroom has its own mini fridge. You don't even need to store your items in the kitchen. Now come this way. It's one of the larger bathrooms on this property with the super bright light fixtures. I almost have to squint when I walk in here. Let's take a stroll poolside. Now a lot of natural sunlight comes into your backyard and your pool area. As you see the sun shining right down on my face, this whole backyard was sunny a couple hours earlier. Now that it's going down, it's going more towards the hill. So this is a large swimmer's pool with the elevated spa with a black border, matching with your windows. Just take a look at the view of the house from out here. Absolutely incredible. Now keep walking with me. There's a dining table on this side of the pool. You can enjoy food and drinks while having a nice day out at the pool with friends and family. And I love how private this backyard is. Look at the forest-like trees behind me. There's an observation deck up there that we'll show you in a minute as well. But it's so private, so quiet, perfect for a family. The large grassy patch in the backyard is perfect for playing when you're a kid. When I was a kid, I'd be playing catch with the baseball, maybe throwing the football around, or even playing wiffle ball. That's what we were doing when we were kids, right? That's right. All right, and then take another look of the house from this angle. Looks almost like a plantation from the back. So much room for activities out here. We just gave you a full tour of this $15.7 million mansion here in Bel Air, California. Again, I want to thank the listing agent Ernie Carswell for letting us tour this incredible property. If you liked the video, please drop a like, hit that like button. We really appreciate that. It helps out our channel. If you want to see more of these in the future, hit the subscribe button. We post videos every Sunday at 9 a.m. So be sure to watch those and we'll see you on the next one.